We tracked a rain shower from North Kingsville, Saybrook, through Ashtabula. It's now into PA. Also, this little shower around Aquila, that's breaking up as it moves eastward. Plenty of rain activity from Erie Huron, even in the Lorain County, down towards New London, Clarksfield, and then dipping down a little bit more Roseburg, uh, Mifflin, Belleville as well. These showers are all moving from west to east across the area right now. Hello everybody, I'm forecaster Brian Ivey. This stationary front is draped across a great deal of the country. It's separating areas of warm air and cold air across the Pacific Northwest. We have some pretty chilly air. In fact, that's blue and that means it's snow that's currently falling across that area. We'll break that down a little bit more. And then across the southeastern portion of the country, high pressure and control. And that does indeed mean that we have plenty of warm air to contend with. Yesterday, no rainfall to look at, neither any rain on the month, but we will be adding that for sure over the next few days. 80 degrees for the high temperature yesterday, that's 13 degrees above average, 88 the record high for the day today. Sunset will be at 7.04 p.m. I'm gonna get out of the way and go to the weather desk and tell you a little bit more details about the active weather pattern across the country. Here's the zoomed out look across the area. We have the rain showers moving in. It's 80 in Cleveland. It's 80 in New Philadelphia, otherwise mid to upper 70s, so very warm. It's also humid out there. Partly cloudy skies east of 77, mostly cloudy west of 77, zooming way out and moving on towards the west. Across the Midwest and the Northern Plains, we have a major storm system that will be pushing in towards our area in the next few days. I'll tell you when here in just a little bit, but there's a lot of snow here, folks, around Rapid City, South Dakota, going back to about 9 a.m. this morning. Look at that, 19.5 inches in Warren, South Dakota. And then there's a severe weather threat on the other side of this system where it is in the warm sector. Let's look at that right now as we'll shut off our satellite imagery and shut off the temperatures. This is where a moderate risk for severe weather is today and then a slight risk there in the goldish, goldish yellow. And then perusing on towards the south, the Gulf of Mexico where we have Tropical Storm Karen currently. This tropical storm will be slowly moving northeastward. Pensacola, Florida will be her destination. She'll be dumping a decent amount of rain with winds gusting to about 50 miles per hour. The overall track of the storm will be northeastward. For the rest of the day today, those isolated storms to scattered storms will be around. Overall sun clouds mix, partly to mostly cloudy skies. And then as we head through 5 p.m., yeah, we're going to take that sunny forecast out. We're going to add in some scattered storms and maybe a rumble of thunder. Overall, just showers across the eastern portion of the area for sure. Temperatures pretty warm, 80 to 82 degrees across the area tonight. An isolated thunderstorm chance, or it could just be a shower, 20% to 30% there, 65 degrees for the low. Moving on to the high school football forecast, temperatures will be falling through the 70s, mid-70s to low 70s, a lot of homecoming games today. So uh, I don't think it's really going to rain. It's partly cloudy. Maybe 2% of you might have to deal with a little shower. Overall, it's going to be dry during that portion of the evening. Akron Canton right now, this is the uh, Summit County Library. Hey, you can see some sun peeking through the tall buildings there and reflecting some shadows on the ground. But overall, partly to mostly cloudy sky across Akron. Forecast for that area tonight, a couple rumbles of thunder possible. Some isolated showers or thunderstorms between about 2 and 5 a.m. Otherwise, we're expecting partly cloudy skies. Low temperatures dip down to 63 degrees there for the low. Uh, let's look now at the Ohio rainfall forecast the next several days. Well, this is through Monday morning. A lot of rain, definitely expected across the area. How about an inch to two inches across all of northeastern Ohio? Western Ohio going to see the most rain, inch and a half, upwards of three inches. And then uh, southeastern Ohio, the least amount of rain, but still upwards of about an inch of rain possible there. Seven-day forecast now. Saturday, it's going to be very warm for this time of year, 84 degrees, isolated storms throughout the day, 30% chance of that, a little better chance Saturday night, and then Sunday, a little better chance again, 60%. It'll be in the mid-70s. Some of those scattered storms could be strong to severe, and especially there Sunday evening. We'll have a big front move through Sunday evening and early Monday morning, 
and then temperatures are going to be dropping with that cold front moving through. Overall about 63 degrees Monday will clear things out into the p.m. And then some sunny skies for Tuesday, 70 there Wednesday, and then on Thursday, 69 degrees. But overall, it will be dry the second portion of the week. Just a little rain chance there Wednesday night. I'm forecaster Brian Ivey. Have a great day.